It's exclusive video of a beachside proposal by a dedicated deputy sheriff declaring his love. Deputy Ryan Klinkenbrumer chose a fairy tale setting as he got on bended knee. Amid a golden sunset, Brittany Lindsay said yes. Is that yes? <laughs> only four days later, his life would be over at the hands of an assassin. You only had four days to be engaged before this horrific nightmare began. Yeah. Well, we didn't get to really even spend like time just us two together to like celebrate. The bereft fiance, who is still wearing her engagement ring, says his romantic proposal was just one example of Ryan's loving ways. I just miss him. Like, I don't think there's ever going to be a day or time where I don't miss him. <sighs> the L.A. deputy was ambushed 11 days ago as he sat in his police cruiser at a traffic light. Police arrested Kevin Salazar for murder. In court, he pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. He left for work. We were texting about our, our wedding, how many people we were going to invite. And then that night, I'm planning a funeral. It's like, I, I feel like it's a nightmare, and I'm just waiting to wake up. The pediatric ICU nurse says she learned the devastating news while driving to work. He was innocently sitting in his car at a red light, and someone just took his life. Like, he wasn't doing anything wrong. He was doing everything right. L.A.'s controversial district attorney, George Gascon, has announced he will not seek the death penalty. What do you think is justice? A thousand percent the death penalty. At the end of the day, they made a choice, you know, to go to the sheriff's station, to pull that trigger. Deputy Klinkenbrumer was a fourth generation deputy. How do you hope people will remember Ryan? A hero. You know, he, he was proud to put that uniform on. He loved it. As for that day he proposed. They're amazing and precious memories that I'll hold on to forever, but it doesn't, he's not here with me.